Hello, my name is Dr. Victoria Vetter, and I'm a pediatric cardiologist and the director of Youth Heart Watch at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. This video will demonstrate how to perform CPR and use an AED on a child from the age of one year to puberty or approximately 12 years of age. CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and is performed by pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest. CPR helps to manually push blood through a person's body when their heart has stopped beating. An automated external defibrillator, or AED, is a device that reads a person's heart rhythm and can shock or reset the heart to a normal rhythm. Prompt CPR and use of an AED can help save a child's life before emergency medical services arrive. CPR should be performed when someone is unresponsive, not breathing or not breathing normally with a gasping or agonal breathing. If a child appears unresponsive, check the child by gently shaking them and shouting, hey, hey, are you okay? Jimmy, can you hear me? If they do not respond and are not breathing, have someone call 911 and get an AED immediately. 911, my child has collapsed, I need help. If you are alone and witness a collapse, activate 911 and get an AED yourself if available before performing CPR. If you are alone and the collapse was not witnessed, call 911 and put them on speakerphone. If you do not have a cell phone nearby and need to choose between calling for help and starting CPR, start CPR immediately. Pulse and breathing check. For lay or bystander rescuers, pulse and breathing check is no longer recommended. For healthcare providers, check for breathing and a pulse. Check in the neck for the carotid pulse for no more than 10 seconds. Remove any clothing on the upper body and begin CPR. To begin CPR, lay the child on their back on a flat surface and place one hand over the other in the center of the chest on the breastbone, just below the nipple line. Rate and depth of compressions. Put the heel of one hand over the lower end of the breastbone in the center of the chest at the nipple line. Cover with your other hand and interlock your fingers. Straighten your arms and lock your elbows so that your body weight is over your hands. Push straight down at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute at a depth of two inches, about one third the depth of the chest. Count out loud when doing the compressions. Make sure you are not leaning on the chest and that you're allowing the chest to recoil or expand completely after each compression. Compression breath ratio. For a child, after you give 30 compressions, you should follow the compressions with two rescue breaths. Tilt the child's head back by lifting the chin up, plugging the nose, and giving two breaths you will see the child's chest rise and fall. Continue the cycle of 30 compression to two breaths till the child is responsive or emergency medical services arrive. Compressions on a child with rescue breaths should look like this. After puberty, witness arrest, not related to drowning or a respiratory problem such as asthma, may be treated with compression-only CPR. AED use. Although every AED is slightly different, they are all made to be user-friendly and walk you through the steps. After the AED is on the scene, you will need to open the unit and turn it on. This may happen simply by opening it up or by pushing the on button. Then following the image or voice instructions, put the pediatric pads on the child, placing one on the front of the chest and the other on the back. If the unit only has adult electro pads, they are safe to use on a child. Continue CPR until the AED tells you to stop while it is analyzing the heart rhythm. Do not touch patient. 
analyzing rhythm. If a shock is advised, the AED will tell you to stand clear and either press the shock button or a shock will be automatically delivered by the unit and you will immediately begin CPR again. If a shock is not advised, the unit will tell you to continue chest compressions. After about five cycles, the AED will analyze the rhythm and advise a shock if needed. Continue CPR and following the AED voice instructions until EMS arrives or until the child regains consciousness. Do not remove the pads from the child because they might suffer another cardiac arrest before help arrives and need to be shocked again. Let's review the steps of child CPR and AED use. First, assess the scene and check for responsiveness. Next, call 911 and have someone get an AED. Pulse and breathing check. For lay or bystander rescuers, pulse and breathing check is no longer recommended. For healthcare providers, check for breathing and a pulse. Begin CPR by pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest 30 times. After 30 compressions, give two rescue breaths and repeat the CPR cycle. If an AED is available, follow the instructions from the unit. 